Overwatch is a team-based shooter, so naturally, the team-based aspect is immediately discarded for the truly important things, like your kill-death ratio. Okay, that's rather harsh, but some stuff is aggravating to us all. In this video, we'll be covering how you can help yourself by helping others. A team that is fighting as one is the greatest joy in Overwatch. Here are some things to consider in order to be an asset to your team. Lastly, all these clips are clearly staged. They are merely here as some visual aid. Lucio has the ability to quickly dash towards the front lines using his speed boost. But before you do so, make sure to check if any of your teammates are about to spawn. Getting multiple people back into the fight faster is usually better than just one Lucio joining in. Also, consider when you spawn alone, whether or not to use Lucio's song to get you to the fight faster, or save the song so you can quickly heal once you do arrive there. By saving it, you can burst heal a few seconds faster. Weigh your options. People like to think that Reinhardt can do no wrong, but every hero can screw things up. As a Reinhardt, people are relying on you. Don't betray their trust. Think before you act. As an example, if the enemy team has a Widowmaker, it's probably best to let your team handle her, and not randomly throw your fiery strikes out there. Another common thing is charging in as soon as the opportunity for a kill arises. But charging into the enemy team seldom ends with you living, and your team has now lost their shield. There's a time and place for everything. Peel, or peeling, is the act of saving a teammate, usually squishies, by using some form of crowd control. Roadhog not only has a ton of health, but one of the best crowd controls in the game with his hook. If your squishies, particularly your healers, are being harassed, Roadhog can serve as an offensive backliner and peel the flankers off of his teammates and swiftly deal with them to boot. His hook is able to cancel most of the ultimates in this game, and a Roadhog who is sitting with his team can deal with these threats. There are other forms of peel out there, but Roadhog is in a league of his own. Torbjorn's biggest asset is that he can provide an extra player to his team in the form of his turret. But if you're just sat with your sentry hammering away, you're throwing away that advantage. For you Team Fortress 2 engineers out there, you don't have to babysit it like you would a level 3 sentry in TF2. When Torbjorn's turret is destroyed, he can just quickly place a new one for free and level it up in just 6 swings of his hammer. Go sit with your team. You don't have to totally neglect your sentry, but you could be covering flanks or fighting with your team. The rivet gun deals a ton of damage, go use it. Reaper has all the tools to be a flanker, but he really shines in his ability to deal with tanks. Pushing choke points is a hassle for everyone, and a Reaper who decides to ignore the choke to go kill squishies is throwing away a world of opportunity. A Reaper that gets close to a tank can absolutely shred them. A Reinhardt that ignores you will quickly be treated with a trip back to spawn, and if he does decide to deal with you himself, this opens up the opportunity for your team to engage without having to deal with the shield. A Reaper who is willing to deal with tanks and sticks with his team is a goddamn marvel. You can flank, or go out there and shred a tank. Here's a list of some small tips that will greatly benefit your team. Whenever you have your ult, or are getting close to having it, use the in-game voice commands to let your team know. This way they'll realize what you're up to, and it will give them some warning to act upon it. If you have a Reinhardt, don't leave him hanging. Accompany him as an offensive class to get risk-free damage on the enemy team. Not only will you not take damage, your opponents don't get any ultimate charge for damaging the shield. As a side note, when there is nothing else you can shoot but a Reinhardt shield, be sure to do so. There's unlimited ammo in this game, so make the most of it. Also, remember that Lucio's healing is much more useful to your team than the speed boost in a fight. A healing Lucio can shift the tide of battle. The speed boost is great for engaging or retreating, but a Lucio that values his speed over his heals is aggravating to play with. Be sure to visit your advanced options and enable the option to see your teammates health as Soldier 76, and throw out your heal whenever you can. Many people will be stingy with it, at the cost of their teammates. Throwing it down for your healers immediately when they are being harassed can very often be the difference between life or death for them. People are always talking about changing your class to counter your opponents but you could also change your class to synergize with your teammates. For example, having a Reinhardt greatly impacts how much a Zenyatta can do. Also, for you Maze out there, throwing out a bad ice wall happens to everyone. That's not the problem. The problem is not correcting your mistake. You can simply use your ice wall again to immediately cancel it as soon as you realize you've messed up. Make sure to always get on the objective during overtime, even if it means certain death. 
This resets the overtime timer and will give your team the chance to secure the objective. It's literally the difference between winning and losing. And lastly, on Widowmaker. She is a great picking class and a very strong character if you can hit your shots. But she is weak in attacking and securing objectives because she sits far behind her team. It takes away a body on the field during a fight. Change off of her when it's not working out for the team. It's pretty hard to not get top damage as a Widowmaker, but that doesn't mean you are impacting the game per se. Another hero that is actively fighting at the front line will be much more of an asset when an attack is not working out. Hope this video was to your liking. And be sure to always be credit to team. Yup.